I'm lucky because Dr. Hank. That's Hyman, what I'm AKA saying. Hank is sitting next to us with the director from the Salvador Dali Museum. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. I'm lucky. You're, you lucky. Have, you're lucky too. Did yes. you see how many people were here for you? There's a tremendous number of people, but actually they're for another event. <laughs> no, it's Why about the reach. Let it slip. It's about the reach, Hank, and, and the fact that you're letting us call you Hank, we feel very lucky. Well, yeah. but I got to say something. You're lucky because Salvador Dali Museum, you work there, you get to breathe it and live it every day. How That's cool right. is your job? You know, Salvador Dali said that the two luckiest things that can happen to a person are first to be Spanish and two to be called Salvador Dali and he <laughs> was lucky in both ways yeah. Wow. yeah so so he's lucky too he's doubly lucky. this is a wholly yeah. lucky thing it's, it's like really a, it's like a Vegas thing tell us a little bit about getting to the Salvador Dali Museum I mean like you know you're the yeah. um, you're the director of the Salvador Dali Museum right. how many more times can we say that in a sentence now okay you've been there how long and where did you come from well First of all, getting there, I would suggest 275, and then 175 to 3rd Street, and then go south. Just pop 1, off 1,003rd Street. Okay. And it's exit 22. Thank and you very much so that, for that, 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 that opportunity. So, you got, so you're there now in the parking lot, and you get out of the car, and you go in, and you're looking through some of your notes, and you're like, oh, I remember when I used to do this right. three years ago. Well, I don't know. Oh, I've been director there since 2002, which is how many years, Rob? Five. Four and a half. Yeah, essentially. Ish. Right. Now, what did you do before that? What did you do like 2000, like around 2000? Were you just chilling? Oh, my gosh. They she's told good. you about I like my him. criminal I, record? I don't want to. Well, we found, you on, we found you on, uh, on Google. When, when you were a little boy. it was boy, the Pinellas County Sheriff's Department. When you, when you were 15, did you want to always be the director of the Salvador Dali Museum? Is that what you <laughs> saw you doing? No, no, no. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was uh, at the University of South Florida and surprised as many people are in this community to find that there was this incredible premier collection of one of the most important artists of the 20th century right here yes right. and i was amazed and I, I i looked through the uh what was on the walls and uh i kind of dreamed about some involvement and then i was asked to be on the board and then i was hired from the board to be the director but you're a okay. doctor what are, what are you doctor i'm at? a doctor and i'll see you after the yes discussion. cough <laughs> yes i'm not coughing right. for anybody okay <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a, a doctor of a, a doctor of the arts uh, a doctor of the arts yeah, it's oh, a, it's how it's MFA doctoral, then the doctoral master's program and you have to do it in that order if you if you send in your fee and you ask for the doctorate they'll send you uh, a bachelor's and a master's degree oh yeah yeah but no, you, you, have to, you have to you have to go through the, the you have to buy the uh, bachelor's first then the master's and then the PhD from the University of Arizona. Like, it's uh, the University of Phoenix. University of Phoenix I'm sorry. It's the Kantian College of Metaphysics in Gold Springs, Nevada. Actually, okay. yeah. Well, let's talk about the museum. I mean, you've got some wonderful things happening. I know Friday is a surreal day. I know you have a huge thing for children to come. Why don't you tell us some events yes. and some things going on there? Well, the, the kids thing is really very seriously the the most glorious thing we do. We have this thing called Junior Docents. And in this, kids come into the museum. How they, old do the kids have to be? Well, I think there's a minimum age of like eight. Oh, okay. But it, it's kind of, we're, we're trying to expand it so that it can go up to, well, I don't, I don't know for sure. We're trying to have two groups, kind of a, uh, a pre-teens and, and right. then a teens. Oh, and, cool. Introducing the arts to everybody all the way along the line. But not only the arts, but their own personal taste. And they come in and they choose a work of art. And they s try to say why they like it. And then they're coached on the kind of vocabulary that they can use to describe something they care about. And so they develop this confidence to be able to describe not only why they like a certain Salvador Dali painting, sure. but maybe why they like a certain song on the radio, or why they dress the way they do, or why they have the political. Oh, that's it great. Gives them, it gives confidence. them words for the, to execute feeling, and in a sense, to be able to describe it to yes from from a tree why you like a movie why you like this i like that right it's a self-esteem thing we're working with the university of south florida and the school of medicine is is, is helping us kind of structure this so that we can kind of build self-esteem among kids it's really lovely so not only do you build self-esteem little characters and people and get them ready for society and get them understanding you know wonderful stuff you also do a lot of other educational programs too there as well right we, we do we have yeah, educational big. programs for all ages we have young people we have normal Middle-aged, normal about, people, well, tell beautiful us people of middle age, and then we have <laughs> senior things too. Tell us about your because you have some family fun days or something that kids, little little ones, can come in through. What what is that? Well, we have certain free days. Uh, then we have uh, fiestas, mm -hmm. and we have Saturday family days. That's we have it. a special program for kids 
uh, and their families so that families can come in and uh, it's kind of a, a, a treasure hunt, and they look for the, the symbols of the surreal. They come and look for oh, cool. um, the melting clocks and the ants. And uh, I, uh, he's yeah. there again. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's uh, looking for you. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> and they uh, they they give us uh, uh, the kids are able to take away something really permanent with their families to talk about. Yeah, so it's lovely. Now you guys are, are you building a new building? Are you moving? Tell us about this exciting news that you guys have. Well, with on. a lot of help from uh, the city of St. Petersburg and the state, and, and a construction and, company. <laughs> well, uh, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> and we're asking the county for help, and a lot of individuals to step forward. We'll build a, a beautiful museum that will keep us above any possible flooding. Bingo. Yeah, because, you know, what do you do about all those paintings? I mean, they're locked in a room. I mean, there are some special paintings that only come out for, I mean, are they in a waterproof vault? No, normally they're actually below the 20-year flood left. claim. Oh, and, nice. And That's when good. there's, yeah. Which is <laughs> wow. So you have a lot of work to do. Yes, we so do. So standing around with and, them on top of their head. When and the water comes whenever out. the wind blows, we have to, like, carry them up to a vault. That we have. Do you seriously and, do that? Yeah, and yeah, it takes an entire day to put them That up. is awesome. Um, besides doing that, like, you know, Oh, we, that's you've right. Lucky. Other exciting news. Other exciting news. Uh, Dolly's going to be in. Dolly's going to be on in, the big screen. On the big screen. Yes, that's what, right. There's, but there's several things going on. Tell us a little bit about what's happening out there and the little buzz that's happening well, in your world. Well, the buzz I heard is that you guys have a direct line to Al Pacino. <laughs> Al, so, baby. Yes, that's what I heard. We call him Al. So we were going to ask if you would invite him over okay. and do a kind of pre-shooting. Uh, tour of the Dolly so that he'll be informed by our wonderful docents love and it. get a, a strong view of the Dolly. I love it. Maybe you, know, you could go to our children's program. You know who I heard you have a connection to? David Carson. Yes. David was supposed to be here today. I, you, <laughs> I called him the uh, the night before last and said, David, I'm so glad you're coming because we're gonna, uh, I'm going to pick you up at the airport. He said, oh, I'm in Odessa, Russia. I forgot that I was coming to. I thought you were going to say Odessa, Florida. That's yeah. how funny. David Carson, though, I mean, uh, who I am as an artist and what I do, like, graphically and all that stuff has been inspired by David Carson ever since he's, Ray Gunn. And you know what? He's World a friend. And, and he's surf, a friend of Dr. Hine. You should, you should get his phone number. No, I don't I need his phone number when he's you. in town next time. Can we go out and have lunch? If he should ever come. We'll, well, we'll get him here. We'll yeah. fly him here or something like that. Right. He's Bring Al Pacino first and then no, David No, I'm not Carson. trading Al Pacino for, uh, for Dave Carson. <laughs> okay, I'll give you David Same Carson time. and another typographer for Al Pacino. No, right, who's that other typographer? No, I want Al Pacino. Depends. No, I want Al Pacino. But how exciting for you? Is it going to be on? It depends. It depends. No. Well, I need to know who it is before. I want Al Pacino. One for you, one for me. Give us some contact information. I mean, it seems like you guys are growing. This movie thing is great. There might be two movies, did you say? Yeah. Or yes, two? there might be two this year. A uh, and that's awesome. Are they going to film that all here? I don't think so. Uh, but we really hope that they'll come and look at the premier collection of Dolly's work have to in St. Petersburg. And it's the single largest collection, number one. It is. And it is... What would you say? Is it a percentage of his work, like an enormous amount? Uh, enormous Maybe a quarter of, of his work is here, which is okay. phenomenal. Which is I mean, huge. If you go to the artist. Picasso Museum uh, in Paris, they have a tenth of his work. Yeah. And that's the yeah, Picasso yeah. Museum. Let us know if they come. We would love to come down and maybe meet, meet Al. Good. Meet Al. We have Dr. to bring Al. Thank you very much for, Thank for you. coming it's on. It's been a pleasure. And please meet your meet your 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 your, uh, your fans out there waiting for yes. you. Yes, yeah, I think so. Out. Right, they're having a raffle right now. He's back. Oh, yeah, we gotta go. Ahead.